Ladies and gentlemen, your Forest Creek Mondo Mart will be closing in 15 minutes. We are open seven days a week for your Christmas shopping convenience. And as always, we want to thank you for shopping right here at Mondo Mart.
here? Any mannequins in the area? Speak up. Are you speaking to me? Before speaking to a princess, I believe it's customary to either bow or curtsy. <laughs> oh, excuse me, princess. I forgot for a moment we had mannequins from girls' costumes and clothing on the center aisle today. I accept your apology. <laughs> Uh, this is Bip over in hardware and tools. Bip, dude, long time no see. Rudo, where have you been? Just chilling, shop. Gnarly season over in sporting goods. You two, gentlemen, know each other? Know each other? Dude, we're like. I am not a dude, Mr. Moondog. <laughs> I think they've locked up. Oh no, it's Cookie. I mean, greetings, Cookie. Cookie, they said you had a nervous breakdown over a cookware today. No, they sent me to the shop. It turns out I had a screw loose. Boy, <laughs> whoever. You still afraid of your own shadow? No, Viv, I'm a new mannequin. Nothing scares me anymore. Hello? Oh. Shh, dude, you know what I hear? Customer. A customer? A customer, freeze. Hey, you guys, are you going to come look for me? You guys, this isn't fair. I found a really good hiding place this time. You guys? You guys, what do we do? Who said that? Cookie. This is horrible. Wow, your mannequins and you're talking? Oh, we're in big trouble. I know this seems quite unusual, young person, but are you frightened? No. Why not? Because I'm not here. It's obviously a dream. I'll wake up soon. I'm in the back of the bus to sleep all. I'm only seeing this because I should never go to sleep after I eat potato, barbecue chips, and grape soda. <laughs> Tatiana, are we just a dream? No, here we are. Young man, I am Princess Tatiana of costumes. And this is Ben, who does work for us in hardware. This here is Moon Dog over in Sporting Goods. And this is Cookie from Cookware. And you are? My name is Taylor. What department are you from? Department? Uh, human kids? <laughs> we don't sell those. This is Ed. We never get to meet someone from outer space. <laughs> I'm not from outer space. Everything outside of the store is from outer space. Well, I guess Christmas is the best time of year to be locked in the store. So mannequins know all about Christmas. Shut sure. duh. Yeah. Oh, yes, Taylor. There is no season like Christmas. We look forward to it all year long. Me too. <clears throat> Thank you.
forward to Christmas all year long, you know all about Jesus then, right? Never heard of no Jesus, but we sure know Christmas. I don't understand. Christmas? Christmas without Jesus? How's that possible? Tatiana, tell me about Christmas. Okay, everyone, gather us around, as I'll tell you the Christmas about Christmas. As we've all learned from all over these years, from the all-wise public address system. You mean you learned it from Christmas songs in a store? Okay, so Christmas as we all know it lasts for 12 days in December. Even though it starts just after Halloween now. It was started by a man named Felix Mocha. It was by Eric Leakey Maka. They lived in a place called Whoville, and they wore red rose reindeer. Each of them had five golden wings, and to every Christmas, they went on a picnic with their friend Sandy Claus at a boulder called Jingle Bell Rock. They could feast on partridge, French hens, and a green soup called Grinch. Sounds <laughs> fun. Well, it was. Um, so. How many people would talk about it? Grandma got ran over by a reindeer. <laughs> <laughs> but now everything is great because Mom got invented, saving up to forty percent to store for the entire Christmas season, and everyone's happy. Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Oh, brother, that's not Christmas. Is it? Really? Okay, that's it. Oh, here it is. You do have one. What? A Bible. Bibles? Aisle 23. <laughs> Leather or hardback? It's a great gift idea. Buy one today. You guys, it's not just something you sell. The Bible is God's story. It's a message from the creator of the world. And it all points to Jesus. His birth and death and his resurrection. Resurrection? What? Well, that's later, but it must be the important thing in the Bible. For right now, you just need to know that Christmas is about Jesus, and when he came to live on earth with the people he created. So, like, are you going to tell us what happened from that Bible, from aisle 23? Do not be holding out on us. Okay, it starts a long, long time ago. Like I said, God created the whole world, and he wanted everyone to know but people turned their backs on God, yet he still wanted to save them and bring them back to himself. He promised he would do it just when everyone thought that God had forgotten. Something amazing started to happen.
alarm? Yeah, it goes off. There's a lot of movement in the store after closing. Burglar, I should think? There's only one way to tell. What's that? It's a listening device. We just got it ordered online. With this little baby, we can hear everything that's going on inside the store. What do you hear? Okay, so this is a guy named Manuel, right? And this guy must be a pretty bad hombre. Because there's a lot of people that need to be saved and fast. I'm pretty sure I heard a voice and heard something about profit. Well, something about profit anyway. It's a robbery, all right. Should we bust in? Yeah, I think we ought to wait. There's a boy in there. If we bust in now, they may take the boy hostage. Okay, no need to hurry. Let's we'll just take this nice and slow. So this Jesus person, he came from heaven? He's more than a person. He's the son of God, the creator of everything. And he came to earth to be with us and to save us. Save? Save? After Christmas, you can save a bunch. <laughs> so it's for sin off. Man, we're giving the stuff away. We must be crazy. Savings in every apartment. Not that kind of saving. Jesus not only saved us, he created us. Dude, maybe he created you. But my tag says my creator is wrong. From Acme, Car Acme Mannequins in Carbondale, Illinois. I've never met this one, but I would love it. I'd like to meet that dude. I do know my creator. He's Jesus, and he came to earth because he loves people. He came to earth to save us. What if the store was on fire, and you were trapped, and Ron from Acme Mannequins of Carbondale, Illinois, ran and saved you? Why would he do that? He's probably made a million names. What if someone told you that Ron was coming to save you? That would be the most awesome news ever. Well, that's what happened on the very first Christmas. On the night that Jesus was born, angels came from heaven to tell the people that God made was sending his own son to save us. It must have been quite a night. It sure was. Here's how the Bible tells it in Luke chapter 2. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby. Keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. And they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy. God be for all people. Today in the town of David, the Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord.
guidance and assistance. She means, could you help yourself? Sure. Due to our creative function, we have difficulty in visualizing the important things that we are not able to do. Tatiana means, we're all about discipline, submitting to discipline. It's hard for us to understand anything we can't see. Is there a way you could create a display <coughs> to help us understand the story? Oh, I get it. A display. Hmm. Wait, a major scene. Is that anything like an activity scene? Yes, it's the same thing. Does the store have one? No, we heard there was a few <coughs> years ago. But they got rid of it because some people didn't like it. And there were a lot of good mannequins at work. That shouldn't stop us. We could put a major scene right here. With what stuff? Anything. This store is full of things we can use. Like, let's look at what we need. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped them in claws and placed them in a manger, because there was no vessel available for them. Who is she? Mary. She's the woman God chose to give birth to Jesus. And Joseph was the man who had promised to be her husband. We need a baby. And cloths for the baby. In a manger. I will get a manger. Wait, what's a manger? It's a feeding <laughs> show. Kind of a place to put hay for donkeys and the sheep that were in the stable with them. I can make you one of those. Check this out. I found Claus and an angel. Wow, an angel. Hello, angel. My name is Cookie. We are all mannequins. We are glad to have you with us. She's a decoration, not a mannequin cookie. She can't speak. I need that. Everybody knows that. Mannequins talk. Decorations do not. Get your head on straight. Is it crooked again? Here, a newborn child. Here's the manger. I even put some hay on it to make it, I mean, I even put some shredded paper on it to make it look like hay. What are we gonna do for Mary, for Joseph, for the shepherds? I've got a cousin over in men's clothing. My sister, let's put some clothing for us where we can get other mannequins to help. This is gonna be wonderful. It seems amazing that God came to earth as such a little baby. He must love people very much. Well, God just come to save people. He came one of us. When Jesus was born in Bethlehem as a little baby, the creator of the world and the creator of all people became a person. God was us.
For Big Stuff News Network, this is Candy Little reporting. A huge please stand on this unreal at the Modern Mart store in Forest Creek. With me is Deputy Tess Andrews. Deputy Andrews, can you tell me what's going on? Well, Candy, it appears that we have a burglary in pro progress. We suspect there may be as many as 100 dangerous burglars inside the store. We use, we've used a high-tech listening device and believe we know exactly what's going on. Thank you, Deputy. Now we have the store manager, Miss Ebenezer. Ma'am, we've been told that deputies have heard discussions that angels, Jesus, and the many will come from the store. That's impossible, Candy. We at Mondo Mart are very careful to keep religion out of Christmas. Well, that's a good trick. How do you do that? <laughs> well, it's not easy. But we're committed to communicating the true meaning of the holiday so people know they can save up to 40% off throughout the store here at Mondo Mart through December 24th. What are you hearing inside the store now, Debbie? Lots of movement. Sounds like things are being moved around or dragged. Not sure what's happening. <coughs> so what's your next move, Deputy? Well, Katie, it seems like we're coming on that top where we bust through the door in any situation. Well, there we have it. A burglary gone wrong, and the deputies are just about to end a 10 stand up. Reporting for Creekside, this is Candy Little, Big Stuff News Network. I made a donkey out of a stick horse and a saw, a saw horse and a stick pony. That's beautiful. Now all we need is our wise men. Well, you've come to the wrong place. <laughs> no, wise men, magi. They're men who studied everything they could find about God and about science. They lived a long, long away away. Well, let's just listen to what the Bible says in Matthew. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Ju Judea, magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where's the one who has been born king of the Jews? They knew who was going to be born. How did they find him there from a long way away? God provided them a star to follow that brought them to Jesus. Listen, the star went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed and coming to the house. They saw the child with his mother, Mary. They bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Well, Taylor, if you have enough money, you can buy the baby some Mondo gifts here at Mondo Mar. Moon dogs, I don't really have any money. That doesn't matter. I think I know it's just the thing I can bring.
fun. Are you sure? Where'd they go? Who? The burglars! Burglars? There weren't any burglars in here. So much for mail and for listening devices. But I heard them. Who moved my mannequins? <coughs> what is this? It kind of looks like the nativity scene. Ebenezer, this is the most beautiful nativity scene I've seen all season. Who's that including mannequins to represent everyday people? It's brilliant. Not only do they have their traditional clothing, but underneath we see people from every part of life worship Jesus now. What creativity. Would you mind if I did a story in this? Lots of publicity for your store. <laughs> well, um, Candy, we are very proud of our new nativity scene, so sure you can. <laughs> oh, Taylor, <gasps> are you okay? Candy Little, BSN News. Taylor, we've heard so many things tonight, and now we don't know what's true and what's not. Help us out, what's the scoop? Candy, Taylor probably can't answer you. You see, he's very, let me have that. Everybody thought they heard burglars. The police thought they heard a bunch of burglars, but they were wrong. Some people thought they heard the real story of Christmas comes from a store. That's not true either. And some people are just afraid to talk because they're afraid somebody's gonna um, make fun of them. Taylor, you're talking. Yep, you know what? Everybody needs to hear the true Christmas story. Lots of people think they've heard all about why we look forward to Christmas all year long, but they're missing it. Tonight, I'm hearing it all like it's the first time. And when we've got news this good, people have got to hear it. Dude, you hear what I hear? Dude, you hear what I hear? People all over the world have been watching our coverage of this tense situation. What would you like to tell them? Why was that mannequin holding a Bible? <laughs> Who is Moondog? It's all right in here. There is good news of great joy for all the people. The Savior has been born. It is Christ the Lord. Give God the glory. <laughs> well, there we have it from Forest Creek. Burglars in the store? Obviously not. Voices? Just the public address system. A burglary in progress? I think not. A good report has a sixth sense about these kind of things. I knew it all the time. And if you can hear what I heard, then even a dummy can hear the good news of Christmas. <laughs>